Hi, I'm Deanna Clark with the Clark Esposito Law Firm, and I'm here today to talk to you about five questions you should be asking yourself if you have a shipment that has been either detained or seized by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service or U.S. Customs. Now, whether you were clueless or you did have a reason to know that there could be an issue with your shipment, if you're watching this video, then you probably are dealing with this issue. So the first question you should be asking yourself is, given what you know about the shipment itself, can you in all honesty say that you had no idea that something about what you're shipping included something that could be considered in any case, a protected wildlife species? You know, if you have a history of importing snakeskin shoes or ostrich handbags or something along those lines, then in my experience, an importer or an exporter would have reason to know that there may be something to look into with respect to this. Now, the government, you know, in particular, if you have a history of, of shipments of this kind, or they can see that you've been buying from the same sellers, you know, they will look at you and they probably won't believe that you had no idea, you know, in terms of that, oh, is this potentially anyway, a protected species? Uh, because they know that business owners conduct due diligence in general. And to the extent that you failed to, they probably won't believe you because with other business owners conducting due diligence, why wouldn't you have done the same? Now, the second question you should be asking yourself is, do I have a buyer waiting for the delivery of this merchandise? Okay, because you can recognize that whether Fish and Wildlife or U.S. Customs, you're looking at at least 30 days before they render a decision on your shipment. That is whether to release it, whether to seize it, whatever they're going to do. So you want to be sure to get in touch with your ultimate purchaser so that they know that they can expect there to be a delay. Now, the second question to be asking yourself is, is there a buyer waiting for the delivery of this merchandise? You can anticipate that whether Fisher and Wildlife or U.S. Customs, you're looking at at least a 30 day delay. OK, and so you want to be sure to contact your ultimate purchaser, let them know that you're foreseeing delays and that at this time, you know, you don't see any reason why it wouldn't be forthcoming, but you wanted to be sure to let them know. So go ahead and let them know. Now, the third question to ask yourself is, did I obtain all of the permits and licenses that were needed? Remember, the burden of dealing in goods in a highly regulated environment is that you need to ensure that you have dotted all of your I's and crossed all of your T's. Was the license still valid? Had it expired? Was the license designated for a specific port? Is your shipment actually going to that port? What else did you need to know? These are the license and permitting related questions you should be asking yourself. Now, the fourth thing you should be asking yourself is, were there any new parties to the supply chain? If there had been, then there may have been things that should have been done that didn't get done, such as the shipment ended up being routed to a new port instead of the designated one. So go back and look at who's in the supply chain. Do you recognize everyone and confirm that everything was the way that it should have been? Now, the fifth question you should be asking yourself is, do I have the time to handle this on my own? Or would I prefer to have an expert assist me with dealing with this? Remember, you have about 30 days for Fish and Wildlife or U.S. Customs to make a decision, all right? Time is of the essence. Now, if you go ahead and have an expert help you, they can help you uncover things that you're just not aware of, things you don't know to even look into, and they can help you craft your response in a way that makes sense, both for this shipment and future shipments, okay? Think about how your customers are going to feel if you can't deliver this to them. Think about your reputation in terms of new customers, prospective sales. You can be setting yourself up for success or you can be setting yourself up for failure. If you take one piece of advice away from this video, I want it to be the following. Make a decision. If you need help, decide to go get that help and don't wait, go get it as soon as possible. Have any questions or comments about any of the material I covered in this video? Please reach out to us. You can contact our office at 917-546-6997 through our website at clarkespositola.com or send us a contact form through that same website and we'll be happy to talk to you.
Subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video. Check out our playlist if you want to see more of our videos, and comment below and introduce yourself. We'll see you soon.